The Airy L series is a new generation of LED lighting fixtures. The L series provides seamless integration of LED technology into established working practices within the film, television, and event industries. The L stands for LED, and the 7 is for the 7-inch Fresnel-like lens shared by each model. The new L series of lighting instruments offers a smooth transition into an era of high-performance, energy-efficient studio and location lighting solutions. Hi, I'm Bill Holshevnikov. I'm a director of photography and lighting designer, and I've been working around the globe for over 30 years. I've been using airy lighting equipment throughout my career, and right now I'd like to share with you how I'm using LED lights for my work in both the studio and on location. The Fresnel lens light is one of the workhorses of the industry. Its ability to cut and shape light, eliminate spill light, create clean, crisp shadows, Isolate talent, isolate set elements. The L7 series from Airy takes us to a whole new level. Not only have they completely duplicated true Fresnel characteristics, but this light is also DMX controllable. I have the ability to do full dimming, I can do minor color correction, I can do full party colors and go into wild colors and make them background elements or hang them down behind the talent. When you change colors on a traditional tungsten Fresnel, you've got to add gels, and gels eat up a lot of light. So a 1,000 watt Fresnel drops down significantly with a heavy purple or heavy blue or heavy red. With this light, you get the same output, and you can choose your colors, preset them, do chases. It has a huge variety of options in DMX control. Never before could you do that with a Fresnel. And the lamp engine probably lasts up to maybe 200 times longer than a traditional tungsten lamp. One of the great things about the L7 is the engineering and the heat management that went into this fixture. Not only does almost no heat go out of the front of the instrument, but also it doesn't require a fan under normal operating conditions. And if the studio heat level does rise, a silent fan kicks in. A lot of other LEDs, they may drop an output as the heat level goes up and the fan has to really kick in in high power to keep it cool inside. This light is engineered at such a level that it stays consistent throughout with its output and also stays silent for the microphones. The L7 series can be integrated easily into existing studios or you can generate an entirely new studio setup into a new operation. Good evening, everyone. So not only are we dealing with a new generation of electronics and, and controllability, but they've duplicated the look of an original Fresnel as far as the light it throws out on set, and for a lighting designer, that's incredibly important. Studio lighting is not the only place you'll see the L7 Fresnel. For commercial work, I love to use Fresnel lens lights, and the L7 brings a whole new range of flexibility to commercial work with both products and food. For me, the other really exciting thing about this new digital revolution is getting into the manipulation of the color of light via the camera, like an Alexa, and working with the L7. Today we did two very different setups. In the food shot, what we did is we took the L7 and backlit the food, and we wanted the lime juice to have a hot backlit look. And honestly, the crew and I, we weren't even sure that the L7 would provide enough light to shoot at 120 frames a second. But when we got it all set up, it was actually almost too bright, and we dimmed it down a touch. And with the violin shot, we did something very different. We gave three totally different moods, and all we did was manipulate color temperature. We set the Alexa at 4,000 degrees Kelvin, and we set the L7 at 4,000 degrees, so that gave me true white light for our first shot. And from there, we backed the color temperature on the L7 light down to 2,800, and that gave us a warm kind of sunset glow. Then we went to the other end of the dial and all the way up to 10,000 degrees Kelvin, and that gave us this very blue moonlight. In a few minutes, I was able to create a daytime look, a sunset look, and a nighttime look, all with just the touch of a couple of buttons. No gels, no filters, no extra time for the crew. It was so simple, and that to me is really, truly amazing. Corporate and industrial shoots have an entirely different set of demands. 
With a low power draw, high output, and the ability to control color, the L-Series Fresnels are a perfect fit for location lighting. Locations for film and television productions can be anywhere and everywhere. In a location like this, there can be particles flying, dust, moisture in the air. It can be very difficult on equipment. And also power can be an issue if it's a working environment. This light pulls barely two amps in an operation like this that can really, really save you. The other problem, sometimes you walk into a location and you've got daylight spilling in, you've got tungsten lights, and even fluorescent. The L7C Fresnel is a fully tunable white light that allows you to match the color at any location. In a matter of moments, I can dial into any one of those color temperatures with a minor tweak of the knob on the side of the light. It's that simple. The warm end of this comes in at about 28. You can see how yellow this is. Here's straight up 3200. This is up to 7500 right there, all the way up to 10K, and then back to 5600 daylight. Loving it. Big one, Parker. Also, these units are weather resistant. All of the internal parts are fully protected from dust, dirt, and humidity. Whether you're working in studio or on location, the L Series Fresnels from Aerie can provide you with an effortless transition into the new era of LED lighting.